Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, I had someone in the comment section ask me how they can uh, use multicolors on fonts. Uh, pretty much to put a border around uh, a font letter or something like that. I've done a font uh, or a text tool tutorial video uh, before. It's a more generic uh, view of Clip Studio Paint's um, text tool. I'll leave a link in the description so you can see that video. And um, but for this video, I'm going to show you how you can use multicolors to um, in your fonts. Uh, pretty much how to cust customize your fonts a little bit more. So um, we go over here to the font tool and you can pretty much pick any font you want. I'm going to pick this uh, Arial Black Regular because uh, it's nice, thick, and bold. Uh, so I'm just going to write my name here. Actually, let me do capital. There, something like that. And so, as you can see, it's, it's pretty plain. Um, it looks like something out of a Word document, um, but if you want to make it uh, a little bit more colorful, you can obviously, uh, here on the text colors, you can pick two different colors. Uh, let me pick something just crazy. And then retype. And what you can see here, it only it only chooses uh, the main color. If you choose this other option here, then now every time you type, it's it's the second color. But you can't. What it's not letting you do is pick two different colors. Like say if you wanted. Uh, a border um, of a different color so the way you can do that is simple it's actually very simple so I'm gonna go back to this black one here if you come here to the side on the right side you'll see this effect you'll see this little black dot with white around it it's called a border effect if you select that border effect what you'll see is thickness of the edge. Now right now the, the edge color is white, but you can pretty much select any color you want in the color wheel and then dump the paint. You'll see a little paint bucket over the color and now it becomes red. Now you still can't see it. If you go back to my text, Andrew, in black, you can't see, but there's a red line around it. If you increase the thickness, you can start to see there will be a, a border around um, whatever text that you typed. So that's um, how you can pretty much get a border around uh, of a different color around your text. Now there, it's still kind of a uh, plain I will say this um, if you keep your uh, raster layer as an object and you can tell it's an object because it has this little symbol of a of an a with a three-dimensional cube here that means you can still manipulate the font you can uh, erase the letters and stuff uh, so you can still type you know and you can change it and it'll have the border for any other letter that you write in there. But um, if you leave it with a border and if you rasterize this layer, meaning you just turned it into, if you turn it into a regular raster layer without object, to do that you go to layer and then you go rasterize. You'll, you'll notice that the little um, 
in the layer uh, stack here, you'll notice that that little that extra a with the three-dimensional cube went away, which means now this is a purely raster layer. That means they're pixelated. Um, so now you can't change the font anymore. It's pretty much a solid drawing. Uh, it's not an object anymore. And you'll also notice that the border stayed uh, within the the raster layer. So everything has been pixelated. The black and the red are two different pixels. So what you can do with that is that you can come back to the border effect and you can add a different color. Let's put the yellow. And again, if you increase the thickness, you can start to, well, yellow's a bad color. Let's go with blue. You can start to see, um, now you have a second border color. Now that's, that's as far as you can go because you can't rasterize it anymore because it's already rasterized. Um, so that's, that's one way you can uh, create a double uh, outline on your, on your lettering. Another way you can do this is, um, is if you know exactly the color you want to use, let's say uh, this red uh, lettering here, and you, you, let's say you forget to add the border effect, right? So let's say you, you typed your text in the color you wanted. You go to Layer, Rasterize. And so now you, you say to yourself, oh, I wanted to add a border, but I forgot to add it. That's fine. You don't have to undo it. What you can do is you can do a... Uh, shrink selection or better yet let's use the, the magic wand here and just select uh, the letter and hold down the shift button and that'll put a little plus sign on your wand which means you can select more objects again that's holding down the shift now that you have all your uh, letters selected what you can do is you can come here to the expand the selection area and let's say you want to expand it by tech 10 pixels so it's still a little bit too thin so I want to go 10 more so there you go now the selection has been uh, expanded uh, 20 more pixels beyond the letters what I like to do is instead of adding it on top create another raster layer below your font right and in that um, the raster layer that's below your text uh, well I'm just gonna go ahead and you well it has to be selected on the prime color let's use uh, this purple here so with your color uh, in the prime color here you just dumped the paint. Oh, that's a bad color too. Something, you know, let's just go with blue. So now that you have, you have this uh, text here that's that was bigger, and then right above it you have your original text. So now you have an outline. Now the good thing about this is that you can do it as many times as you want. Unlike the uh, first example where you can only do it twice um, now you can do it uh, again you can select oh, I'll hold down the shift you can do it as many times as you want let me just skip type 20 go straight to it but remember always create a raster layer below uh, the font that way your color won't cover your font so let's choose another color here let's go back to red 
and so you can keep doing that not only that uh, so now you can see you have uh, one two and three three layers so you have the outermost uh, border and then you have the blue and then you have where you the font that you started the text that you started but you don't have to go bigger you can also go smaller so again I'm going back go back to my original uh, text and hold down the shift and select all the letters again and instead of expanding the selection I'm going to shrink the selection to 20 now this time what I'm going to do is create a raster layer on top because now my selection is smaller and I'll just use black so now I did it in reverse where now it's smaller so if I turn them all on you have this crazy outline <coughs> now um, what I like to do is if I want to manipulate my font because it looks pretty boring it looks uh, straight up and down uh, flat what I want to do is give it a more dimensional look so what I like to do is I like to create a folder and in this folder I will add I'm gonna hold down the shift and select all the layers that make up this font and I can easily check that by making the folder invisible and I can see all the all the letters or the font disappeared if I had one if I was missing a layer you can easily see if I make the folder invisible I can still see the font which lets me know that this layer or this raster layer belongs in the folder oh, and make sure uh, make sure you keep the order because what we're going to do now is we are going to make a copy of this folder so basically um, selecting the folder I'm going to do command C and then command V as in Victor to create a copy or in uh, Windows case it's uh, control C control V so now that I have two folders of the same thing, I can I'm going to make one invisible. And what I'm going to do with the copy, I'm going to um, combine all these layers uh, by hitting this little uh, icon up here, combine the layer below. And then I can take it out of the folder because I don't need the folder anymore because it's only one one raster layer. I don't need one raster layer in a folder and I can delete the folder. So now what I just did was now the text font with the outline have become one raster layer. And I still have the original where they're all separated. So in case I want to change something, I can always go back to the original. What this allows me to do when I combine them all into one, it allows me to manipulate this. So what I'm going to do is go to edit, transform, free transform. And now I can grab these little nodes and I can change these. Now I haven't figured out a way to snap these so that it stays uh, perfectly vertical or horizontal so you kind of have to get, eyeball it but this allows you to manipulate it stretch it up stretch it down move it side any way any way you want but this allows you to uh, further manipulate your text or fonts so they look a little bit more custom. And there you go. That's what I like to do.
another thing you can do is uh, go back to your magic wand and let me go back to the original and let's say I want to add some uh, gradient you can also add gradient so I'm going to go to the black and what I'm going to do is hit the selection tool select all the letters and create a layer on top of that and now this time I'm going to use the gradient tool now you can use any gradient you want you can use this rainbow one and how this works is you just hold it down expand the line I'm going to hold shift so that it stays perfectly hor um, yeah, horizontal and when I let go of my stylus or my walk, walk on pen uh, you can see that it created all the colors of the rainbow and now you have a rainbow or you can do other stuff uh, let me undo that real quick let's go to this transparent one but the shape let me select something like this oval and let me select this purple color so I'm going to choose the center and just create an oval like this double tap and you can see that now you can have um, this kind of gradient where it's purple and then in black in the center and then again you can copy the folder command C command V make the original invisible and then combine all the layers take the copy out of the folder delete the copy folder and so now you can do the same thing you can go to edit transform oops make sure you're selecting the layer edit transform free transform and then again you can manipulate it um, however you want and then it'll maintain that that gradient it'll be exactly how you want to color it and so yeah that'll if you hit undo it'll undo that let's do that again much exaggerated maybe a little bit so yeah the transform tool allows you to manipulate it however you want so that uh, it looks the way you want so yeah that's uh, a couple of tricks you can use to manipulate the font tool um, so you can get uh, borders around your letters of different colors you can also use your uh, gradient tool to change colors around um, but yeah so uh, feel free to experiment with any of the tools and uh, if you have any questions on how to do anything else in clip studio paint I'll try to answer it in the comments and if I can't answer it in the comments I'll make a video and uh, yeah I hope this tutorial was helpful and informative and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.